and uh, we can uh, go to the uh, net app uh, just to source folder <clears throat> and we can build the the application using the colcon build command So let's uh, let's start with the uh, simple um, basics uh, basic example and in this example we will use the ROS2 5G era basic example package which contains uh, free parts free free scripts or application if you want and uh, the first is the machine learning service uh, the second is the basic image publisher and the basic result listener. In this case, <clears throat> uh, the machine learning service, uh, we will take a closer look uh, to uh, the implementation. But in this case, uh, we have uh, um, multiple subscribers and uh, publishers ready when the application starts. And it has defined uh, a few topics for um, the subscribing the images and publishing the, the results. Uh, the internal implementation of the application is close to what you see in this figure. Uh, so the data from the subscribers are, are added to uh, some internal image queue. Then from this queue, they are passed uh, to the worker. Worker will <clears throat> uh, process the data, create results, and uh, push the data, the result back to the results queue. And there is one more, one more uh, part which uh, takes the data from this results queue and distribute it to correct publisher uh, to uh, to send the data back to the uh, ROS2. Uh, in all these examples, uh, we are using these uh, blue rectangles, uh, which represents uh, ROS2 node. Uh, and this uh, green um, part uh, represent uh, some uh, some publisher or subscriber and defines how the topic is uh, and defines name for the topic and uh, these uh, these circles with the worker and uh, for example the, this queue handler uh, in this context uh, these are separated threads inside the python application but we will take a closer look uh, what is inside so i will um, go uh, go through the code uh, for better user experience i have prepared uh, the visual studio code uh, to show uh, you the source code of our packages or um, at least this one so at first we will take a look to the uh, image publisher and uh, the image publisher is a single <clears throat> uh, ROS2 node, which uh, during the uh, initialization state, it uh, opens the video from our asset folder, <clears throat> uh, prepare uh, the CV bridge, which converts data from uh, ROS messages to open CV images and in the opposite direction. Uh, we will set some <coughs> internal variables like frame IDs, create the publisher. Uh, and in this case, <coughs> we specify that the, this uh, publisher uh, publish data, uh, data with uh, messages with type uh, image message, and it's called <coughs> images. And uh, we have uh, uh, 
10 element we have we have q with the length uh, 10 for this publisher and uh, in this example we will publish data every uh, like in 10 fr frames per second so uh, <clears throat> and we define the we define the, uh, the timer <clears throat> And uh, this timer, uh, we need to take the time, how often uh, should the publisher publish the, the data, and uh, it will publish the data using this function, uh, which in our case is called timer callback. And it is in this function, the only thing uh, which is uh, doing it that uh, from the open video file, <coughs> it will uh, read the frame from the video. If uh, the frame is uh, read it correctly, it will transfer uh, the data from the OpenCV format to the ROS2 image message. We will adjust the image message header. We will add some uh, timestamp and we will add uh, current frame ID and uh, publish the result using the publisher. So this is all from the image publisher part. <clears throat> uh, it's uh, quite same even for the uh, result listener. Again, uh, Result listener is ROS to node, and uh, we have um, uh, we create subscriber uh, which which is listening for the string messages. Uh, the subscriber uh, topic name uh, original name is called the result, and again we have ten uh, ten messages. <coughs> as the queue size and we define the listener uh, callback which uh, is only uh, getting the data from the subscriber and uh, printing uh, back to the console so <clears throat> for the machine learning service part uh, this is uh, little bit more complicated but uh, uh, it's, it's um, the structure of the machine learning service is exactly uh, the same as uh, was shown in this uh, picture so uh, first of all uh, we have uh, defined <coughs> some result publisher uh, which takes uh, some identifier uh, and creates uh, uh, the correct topic for publishing, uh, publishing the results. And uh, the same is done for the image subscriber. <coughs> Again, uh, uh, we create uh, uh, subscriber inside the ROS2 node uh, and uh, which has some unique identifier for the topic <clears throat> and in this case uh, we do some uh, more processing of the data and for the style formatting of the data for the uh, image uh, for the result publisher and uh, uh, for the for the image subscriber, <clears throat> we are processing the incoming data that uh, from the ROS2 image message uh, for the machine learning service, it's converted back, uh, back to the uh, OpenCV image format. And we will read the uh, metadata so we store the we store the name of the in term of the node uh, where the data uh, came from the robot and we will save the header which is pro processed uh, later during the uh, pub during the publishing of the result <clears throat> uh, 
Uh, for the detector uh, part, in this simple example, we don't really have uh, any uh, real detector. This is only like some dummy detector class, which <coughs> generates uh, only random bounding boxes uh, inside uh, the image. It will generate uh, some random class and random score. And uh, these data are uh, pushed to uh, result output queue, which, from which uh, are distributed to the uh, to the publisher. So these are the parts <coughs> which were shown uh, in this uh, in in this uh, uh, figure. And when the, when we start this application, the only thing which uh, it do that in some cycle it will <coughs> generate uh, the image subscribers and the result publishers node, which uh, uh, which corresponds to some preset number which we want, and uh, the number for this uh, example is four. Uh, as shown in the image. So uh, I think that we can start uh, to, uh, to presenting how it works and what uh, we should do uh, to, to use this uh, to use this and to uh, allow the communication between you know, these three uh, parts of uh, rest to package. So I will split my uh, screen only in the terminal. <clears throat> One again, and uh, for the first part, we need to start the machine learning service. So I will start the service <clears throat> and we can check that uh, okay, I will uh, close it first, and we will uh, check the which topics are available right now, and you can see that there are only some standard ROS topics available. When I start the machine learning service and check the topic uh, topics again, you will see that. I have uh, topics for four robots and uh, from zero to three, and uh, we have uh, image topics and the results topics. And uh, in this case, we need to map uh, or change the mapping of the image publisher uh, of the image publisher and the results listener node and uh, remap the original image and the results topics to correct uh, correct topic for the uh, which is defined by the machine learning service to do that uh, we will simply run the uh, result listener with uh, this form <clears throat> so I will run the result listener here. So we are calling the ROS2 run uh, with for the ROS2 5G era basic example package. And we will uh, we want we want to run the result, result listener. <clears throat> and we are using commands to remap the uh, original results topic, in this case to robot one uh, result. When I start the result listener, it will, uh, it will uh, wait uh, for the messages from the machine learning service. <clears throat> and uh, I have to start even the image publisher, which is almost the same command, but here I'm starting the image publisher node and The remap is done from the images to robot robot one. 